everyone, this is Midnight Mommy. So for today's tutorial, ituturo ko sa inyo ang parallel circuits. So sa parallel circuits, gumagamit din tayo dito ng Ohm's Law. So ang Ohm's Law natin is given by this formula. Meron tayong current is equal to your voltage over your resistance. So yung current natin, this one is measured in amperes. Yung voltage natin is measured in volts and yung resistance natin is measured in ohms. So kapag gumagamit kayo ng formula ng ohms, to, make sure na yung mga units natin is tama. Kasi kung hindi siya naka-express, for example, sa ampere, volt, or ohm, so kailangan nating mag-convert ng mga units before natin magamit siya sa ating equation. So sa isang parallel circuit, yung ating current, meron siyang different paths na pwede niyang daanan. So in short, parang may imagine ito na para tong kalsada na yung kung nagda-drive kayo, meron kayong mga options na pwede niyong um, daanan. Okay, so pero makakarating din kayo dun sa same place na yun. Okay, so parang ganun din yung parallel circuit. So usually yung mga parallel circuit, ito yung mas madalas natin ginagamit ng mga kon electrical connection, lalo na for example sa bahay natin. Kasi mapapasin nyo sa bahay, let's say nasira yung ating outlet, kahit isang outlet lang yan, hindi tayo nawawalan totally ng kuryente sa bahay. Okay, kasi yung ating kuryente, marami siyang pwede pang daanan. So yung parallel circuit ginagamit din sa mga let's say mga Christmas lights. So mapapansin nyo sa mga Christmas lights kapag meron lang dyan isang um, light bulb na napunde, okay, yung buong um, Christmas lights mo, hindi naman siya lahat mawawalan ng ilaw. Okay, kasi um, naka-parallel circuit connection siya. So sa parallel circuit, kahit mawalan ka ng isang resistor dito, okay, tuloy pa rin yung takbo ng kuryente natin. Ang, ang equivalent resistance sa parallel circuit can be computed by using this formula. So you have 1 over REQ is equal to 1 over R sub 1 plus 1 over R sub 2 plus 1 over R sub 3. So in short, yung kinukuha natin dito is your reciprocal. So sa isang parallel circuit, ang parehas sa kanya is yung voltage. So yung voltage natin, ito yung total voltage na makikita ninyo doon sa ating power source. So kung ano yung voltage ng power source, yun na yung ating total voltage. So yung voltage natin dito is just the same para sa lahat ng mga resistances. So, ibig sabihin kung ano yung voltage dito sa R1, ganun din ang voltage sa R2, and ganun din sa R3. Now, dito naman, ang parallel circuit, tinatawag din natin siya na current divider. Kasi yung ating total current is nade-divide siya sa bawat isang resistance. So, dito para makuha natin yung ating, again, current, gagamit tayo ng Ohm's Law na I is equal to V over R. So kapag in natin lahat ng current na dumadaan dito sa R1, dito sa R2, and sa R3, pag in natin yung tatlong yon, equivalent siya dito sa ating total current. Find the equivalent resistance, total current, and current across each resistor. So para ma-compute natin ang ating equivalent resistance, so meron tayong 1 over REQ is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So, substitute lang natin itong mga values na ito. So, meron tayong 1 over REQ is just equal to 1 over, so R1 natin is 8 ohms. Then, plus 1 over R2, R2 natin is also 8 ohms. And yung R3 natin is 4 ohms, so 1 over 4 ohms. So, pag kinumpute natin ito, makukuha natin sagot dito is 1 half ohms. Okay? So, so, sa calculator, mas madali ito. So, gagawin nyo lang dito is 1 divided by 8 plus 1 divided by 8 plus 1 divided by 4. So, makukuha nyo sagot dito is 0 0.5 ohms. Pero, this one is 1 over REQ. Okay, so, para makuha nyo yung R equivalent, ang gagawin natin, kukunin natin yung reciprocal ng 1 half. So, magiging 1 over 1 half. Or, pwede rin naman na 1 over 0 0.5. So, pag inipon nyo ito sa calculator, ang makukuha nyo sagot dito is 2 ohms. Pag naman natin yung ating um, total current. So, ang total current natin, again, this is equal to Vt over your REQ. Okay, so ang total voltage natin dito sa power source natin is 10 volts. I-divide lang natin siya dito sa ating equivalent resistance na 2 ohms. So, 10 divided by 2, meron tayong 5 amperes. So, ito po yung ating total current. So, next na tinatanong dito is the current across each resistor. So, alam natin na kapag meron kang isang parallel circuit, yung total voltage mo is just equal to the voltage across R1. This is also equal to voltage across R2 and the voltage across R3. 
Okay, so para makuha natin ang I1, meron tayong V1 over R1. So ang V1 natin is your total voltage which is 10 volts. Divide natin yung R1 natin na 8 ohms. So this one is 1.25 amperes. Then yung ating I2, this is equal to V2 over R2. So again, meron tayong 10 volts divided by 8 ohms ulit. So that is 1.25 amperes then. And then finally, meron tayong I3. So I3 natin is V3 over R3. So this is 10 volts divided by 4 ohms. So I3 natin is equal to 2.5 volts. Find the equivalent resistance, total current, and current across each resistor. Okay, so compute muna natin yung ating equivalent resistance. So meron tayong 1 over REQ is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So ang kukuha natin dito is 1 over, ang R1 natin is 11 ohms plus R2 natin is 7 ohms, 1 over 7 ohms plus yung R3 natin is 1 over 20 ohms. So, mas madali po ito sa calculator yung gagawin. So, i-input nyo lang to as 1 divided by 11 plus 1 divided by 7 and plus 1 divided by 20. So, make sure nagagamit tayo ng parenthesis kapag in-input natin ito sa calculator para tama yung makukuha nating sagot sa calculator. So, makukuha natin sagot dito is 0 0.284. So, niround off ko na lang po. So, para makuha natin yung REQ, Okay, so ang REQ natin is just equal to 1 over ito, yung 0 0.284. So ang magiging REQ po natin is 3.52 ohms. So next, compute natin yung ating total current. So yung total current natin, that is equal to VT over REQ. So ang VT natin, again, sa, ang power source natin dito, ang nakalagay dito is 12 volts. So yun yung gagamitin natin. So 12 volts divided by yung REQ natin na 3.52 ohms. is 3.41 amperes. Now next, para makompute natin yung total current across each resistor, so meron tayong I1 is equal to V1 over R1. So again, remember na yung total voltage natin, this one is also equal to your individual voltages across each resistor. So yung V1 na gagamitin natin is also 12 volts. So yung R1 natin is 11 ohms. So this one is 1.09 peers. So yung I2 naman natin, this is V2 over R2. So again, yung ating V2 is also 12 volts divided by yung R2 natin which is 7 ohms. So this one is equal to 1.71 amperes. And then lastly, meron tayong I3. So yung I3 natin is V3 over R3. So again, 12 volts ang gagamitin natin and then yung R3 natin is 20 ohms. So this one is 0 0.6 Amperes. If notice, kapag ito in po natin yung I1 plus I2 plus I3, ang makukuha po natin sagot dito is yung ating total current which is 3.41. So sana po nakatulong na malaki sa inyo itong video na to. So kung meron pa po kayong mga other topics na gusto nyong isuggest or meron kayong comments or meron kayong mga questions, pwede po kayong mag-comment sa ating comment section. And I'll see you in my next video.